And the biggest issue that a person could have already been dealing with before they started fasting, or it could have been magnified by the fasting, is bile becoming too thick and sticky to flow correctly. And this has the ability to create a world of trouble. Because like we talked about, this bile is this soapy substance that's made by the liver and then it comes down and it gets stored in the gallbladder until it's ready to use. But when that food gets acidified in the stomach and then it leaves the stomach and comes down here into the small intestine, that's what triggers this gallbladder to squirt that bile down there to help neutralize those acids. That bile helps us emulsify or break down our dietary fats and also helps us access fat soluble vitamins like A, E, D, and K. So all those are really crucial for the body to work like the body is supposed to work. So if this bile becomes too thick and sticky to flow correctly, then it doesn't come down here and really help us break down that food and get all the nutrients out of that food. It doesn't help us emulsify those fats so that the body can use those fats. So if we're consuming fats that can't be digested, they become a problem to the body. The body can't use them. It's like, what am I gonna do with them now? Oh, I can shove them in these fat cells for safekeeping until the coast is clear, and then I can worry about how to get them out of the body later. So we can actually be expanding our pants just because the bile is not flowing well enough to help us emulsify those fats. Another problem is that the liver filters all these toxins and junk out of the body and it puts a lot of those toxins into the bile. So when the bile comes down here to the intestinal tract, it's carrying those toxins with it so that the toxins can go through the intestinal tract and then out the back door when we poop like a champion. So when bile becomes too thick and sticky to flow correctly, that detox pathway is not working. Now all those toxins are staying in the system and making the system more toxic and the body might take some of those and shove those in fat cells for safekeeping as well. So that's a lot of problems that can happen just when bile is not flowing. And the reason that this can magnify when we're fasting is because the gallbladder's job is to concentrate that bile so that a small amount of bile is more effective when it comes down here. So if there's no food coming in for long periods of time, then there's no acidic food to come down here and trigger the gallbladder to do its job of squirting that bile down. So if the bile's not being triggered, it just stays in the gallbladder. Well, the gallbladder's job is to concentrate it. So it's just going to continue to concentrate that bile until it concentrates it into sludge or even stones. So if somebody's using intermittent fasting all the time or even extended fasting can be even more problematic in this area, then they're really extending the amount of time that that bile is gonna be in the gallbladder and that it's going to get concentrated.